Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Robert from Helton's Computer Repair. So, it's came to pass that people have been seeing probably one of my past videos of how to enable the administrator account, and they've been having trouble of not being able to find the command prompt by right-clicking on that start menu. Well, what it is is that one of the current versions, I don't remember exactly which one, they changed the selection from having CMD to run as default on administrator, and they changed it to Windows PowerShell. Now, the commands that we do are exactly the same, so I'll be showing you how you can do it. But before we do this, I'm going to show you if you decide you want to change that to CMD, here's your options how to do it. You would right click on the taskbar settings, and right here where it shows replace command prompt with PowerShell. Well, I turned it off, and if I right-click on it, it would be back how the old one was. But I'm going to go ahead and enable it back on to show you how to enable the administrator through PowerShell. So, you first right-click on the Start menu. You can also can search it on the search bar, but it makes it so much easier by just right-clicking. And you're going to choose Windows PowerShell with Admin, and you'll probably be prompt for this, for this to happen. Now, for this to work, you also need to have administrator rights. I know this happens too to lots of people. Trust me, you need that for it to work. So this is what you're going to get. It looks very similar, kind of like the command prompt. And you're going to go ahead and type in net user. And you see there's administrator. Very simple. And the lists that are there. And I'm going to type net user administrator. And by default it says that the account active, it says no. So that means pretty much right now there's no other users that are there to pretty much switch. So let me go to the lock screen and to show you there is no one else. So let's go ahead and enable that. It's very simple. You're going to go ahead and type in net user administrator. And you're going to type in slash active. And this should enable it. I think you could also put the colon and also still put yes also. That will enable it also. Either one will do the same concepts. The only time we have to put the colon is whenever we have to disable that, but I'll show you that in a bit. So right now the administrator is enabled. You can do this also in other places if you decide you want to enable a user that you currently had in the past. I'll show you that in a bit. But let's go ahead and lock it and see if there's another user. Oh, here it came up. I'm just go ahead and just select the other user to sign into it. It will be probably its first time getting into there. And here it is. It's going to say hi. We're getting everything ready for you. I don't really don't care right now. So I'm going to go ahead and let it load and then just sign back out. Almost there. And here it is. It's the settings by default for you all. I disable all of these. It's of your choice. I don't want them to track everything that we do. So I'm going to press accept. And here we have it. The minister. Pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and just sign out now because I do not need to be in there. And I'm going to switch back to the default user that I have here. And we're going to go ahead and pretty much reverse this step. So to disable that, so you're going to type in net user, um, the administrator, and active, and press colon no. And that will do it. Now, this concept right here that says administrator, it can be done the same way by enabling others. Let's say if you had a background user that you created in the past, pretty much by net user, the name of the user. You know what I mean? You would change if it was like admin, and you would type in active and press yes, and that will enable it. Pretty much this is the concept of how to do this. If you want, you can go back to my other video. I put a little bit more details, but it's not really needed because this is pretty much your concept, how to enable the minister. So I'm going to go ahead and check again after I disabled it. I'm going to type in the user, and I don't see that there's the administrator back to switch over. So I'm going to go ahead and just sign out and see if it did any changes. I don't see anything major, so I'm going to go ahead and you see there's something there. I'm going to go ahead and just sign back in. But that's pretty much how you do it. Don't forget to subscribe us here on YouTube and click that button right there to get notifications for us. It would really help us out. Also, check out our 
links. We have some links for some t-shirts for sale. If you want to help us out, that will be great. But thanks for watching.